Hi, in this video we will look at a case study of how you can collaborate with mWater to build a management information system that fits your organization's needs. We'll be looking at an existing management information system called Azure, which comprises a public-facing website that public viewers can go to and understand more about what the initiative is. There's an internal monitoring and evaluation platform available to the users with the logins and the right permissions, as well as accounting systems for the water service providers that benefit from Azure's work, as we will see. I'm Petri, the product manager at mWater. Let's get going. So you might be familiar with mWater's free offering as the preeminent platform for managing water, sanitation, and hygiene data across the world. Now, you might be happy with those free features, or you might have very specific needs in your organization to build an internal facing or public facing management information system that goes beyond the features available in the free platform. Well, in that case, you can join with mWater partner up to build these kinds of custom management information systems to specifically match your needs. And this is what mWater often does as an organization to help other partnering organizations meet their needs. And that means that something gets built on top of the existing and well-featured mWater tech stack and can then sit separately as a separate website where you have a lot of control. So there's collaborative design between mWater and the partnering organization running in iterations with these powerful features built on top of Emotor's existing tech stack, which means reliability, scalability, cost effectiveness, and just a whole bunch of different things that can be done. This can mean that self-standing website, in our example case study, we'll look at azurewater.org. And similarly to all of Emotor's features, these are free to use once built. So there's no ongoing subscription fee or cost. The management information systems that we collaboratively build are also very updatable. So the updates and tweaks that inevitably are needed over time can largely be done by our partners themselves if they want to. So they don't have to keep coming back to mWater to change something in a dashboard or the way a survey works, by and large. Depends a bit on how complex the issue is. So the main idea is that Whilst the free platform for mWater provides a lot, and over 100,000 users are making use of that, if you want to go beyond and build a really fully functional management information system, we're very open to such collaborations. So let's take a look at what Azure is. Operating in Latin America, it's an initiative to mobilize capital and technical support for water service providers to upgrade and expand water services. This comes with a variety of support elements, including design and engineering services, training water service provider operators and technicians, as well as business development support and mobilizing loan capital. To be able to do this for the hundreds of water service providers and systems they work with, it's important that they have an effective monitoring and evaluation system that allows them to survey water service providers identify where the strengths and weaknesses are and target their interventions and support in the most effective way. And that's what this system in part does. So the management information system that we've built together with Azure comprises this public facing website that anybody can go to and learn information about the organization and the results they're achieving as well as a map of activity that's driven by the data that's collected through the mWater surveys that they fill in and the, and the monitoring and evaluation side of the platform, as well as a library of materials for public consumption, all set on the public facing website. Powered by the same technology that powers these two other components, the monitoring and evaluation and the accounting system side. The m and &E bit is only intended for those users of the platform who actually work with Azure, who have the right permissions, are part of that management structure. 
And that's a complicated, detailed, fully featured uh, platform side where the details of each water service provider and system can be captured and drilled into. Data that gets collected can go through an approval process. These indicators and system grades that we'll look at in a bit more detail are all visible here and the mechanics are available there as well as you can see impact dashboards, interactive dashboards about the impact of the work and any gaps driven by the data that's collected by smartphone, collected by data being entered into the MIS. Now, the third component of this particular MIS is accounting systems. So when Azure is trying to unlock funding, for example, for water service providers, many of them don't have any kind of digitized accounting available at the moment. So what the system provides is for each of those water service providers, they can create this digital free accounting system and start tracking their transactions, customers, vendors, tariffs, and so on, and then be able to present a better view of their own finances for prospective investors, for example, not to mention man manage their own finances better. We'll see this in a bit more detail, but accounting systems in the MIS uh, cover preset categories that can be adjusted on a water service provider basis. Each provider has their own separate system with permissions, so they don't share that information. You can set custom tariffs, add customers, do meter reading, create bills for customers, and so on. Here we see the public facing website and a few snapshots where it looks like a standard website these days would look except it's powered on top of the mWater technology and has features that come from that. For example, this live map of the systems and water service providers that have currently been entered into the MIS. But the public doesn't get to see the M&E side without logging in. Briefly, the M&E side of the MIS covers all the water service providers and all the water systems that have been entered into the system. You can drill into the details all the way down to individual water system components if you've collected that data. There's an approval process for the main surveys that feed the indicators. So only finalized data can be shown if you like. And because these systems and service providers exist in the database, you can collect data for them over time and see progress. So you can identify a baseline where the gaps are, target your interventions, target your support, and then see how that's evolved in a year's time, two years time, five years time, so on. There's a set of interactive dashboards that we've collaboratively developed with Azure, but nonetheless, they can keep developing independent of us on a mortar side. There's a facility to record additional data, such as key trainings, partnerships, anything you like, as well as importantly, key performance indicators and an automatic grading of the water service providers and the water systems on the basis of surveys that have been designed and filled in. Just a bit more detail about that. For Azure, the overall grade of a water system it comes from 12 indicators and various components, water quality, population access, micro measurement of water use, macro measurement, is there a environmental plan, is it uh, gender equitable in the system and so on. Now with the power of mWater, these indicators are all automatically calculated from survey information. So from the data collection side, all that needs to happen is the data gets accurately filled in to the surveys. And then given the good definition of these indicators, the grading from A to D gets automatically set and gaps are highlighted. So you can see if some system is strong for the water quality, but uh, poor for continuity of water access, for example. And then an overall system grade, again from A to D, is automatically calculated from those 12 indicators, which are themselves automatically calculated. So it takes uh, a lot of the manual effort away and allows those people making decisions really to see uh, the derived and valuable higher level synthesis that allows them to guide their support and where it makes the biggest difference. Diving a bit more deeply into accounting, 
Here's just some dummy data, but as you can see, it's embedded into the Azure site, visible for users, and each system can have its own accounting system, each water service provider, where they can track customers, track billing, add vendors, enter and adjust accounts, enter transactions on the basis of all that data, as well as tariffs, then generate reports, profit and loss balance sheet, something that might be useful to demonstrate to a prospective investor and so on, as well as start quickly out of the box and then start customizing things further down the line. So this is meant to be a flexible but quick to start accounting system that takes a system that doesn't, a water system, water service provider that doesn't have much in the way of accounting all the way to a fully functional digital accounting system. And with that, we've looked at the three components of the management information system of Azure, the public facing side, the in-depth monitoring and evaluation side, as well as these various accounting systems. Now, this is just an example of what's possible. And much, much more is something that uh, MWater can provide if you collaborate with us. So if this is of interest, do follow us, do talk to us. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, and of course, always through email at info at mwater.co. So take a look, go check out the MIS, check out other case studies, and get in touch if that's uh, a value to you. Thanks for watching.